like Kram, of course, you know, having it completely different up B, he can get back onto stage a little bit sooner. It can recover from more, di more diagonal positions. It can be a little bit tricky for Leon to get that. Now, drop off stage counter is a very viable option against specifically Roy uh, for Lucina. That's not something that Roy can sometimes do. Oftentimes, because of the lack of height on his up B compared to that of Lucina, That's if true. he commits to it off stage, he might actually end up uh, a little bit too low to make it back onto the stage, even with a double oh jump and with an up B. DK? It's Even fine. for DK Lucina, I do not like the way he's going for the Japanese player. I do like it for the French player, though. He's Never count out his Donkey Kong. Once he gets it going, he is insane. Insane. He is one of the best, if not best, Donkey Kong in the world Ooh. right now. Double dash attack. Looking for the jump call up, but a really good parry out of shield from Leon. Donkey Kong's neutral is quite safe on shield. Yes, indeed. And now the, the damage he took here was from one FT10, three dash attacks. So that's another tool that DK has in his pocket that can be useful. However, this side of this monkey is just going to be annoying for him, considering Leon again and his ability to just space you out and again look at that you're not going to get out of that ledge quickly my boy yeah he's not able to find that f tilt donkey kong has a really huge ledge hang he has a really huge two frame animation as well tries to come in with the ko punch doesn't actually get the armor off as intended back here not coming in uh fast enough he doesn't catch uh a lot of hikaru's descent but right now hikaru has just been on the back foot this whole stock okay <gasps> don't manage to find some way to breathe in and this may be the way to show oh, what oh no you're going to die from this my boy oh Woo! Woo! he made it back okay. onto the ledge in time before leon could set up with up smash but luckily not taking too many more hits he's able to get that stock off and hikaru is just bleeding even more. Okay, I guess this is just Hikaru giving one game to Leon. Never mind, he's still there. The pack, the Dicky Punch can actually just uh, clutch it out. Good oh. reverse grab here. But you're talking about no character that has the most. Okay, never mind. They're not going to get out of there. 26% only on the token stock of Hikaru. But a good, good string going on here again for the French player, forcing that monkey out of the terrain. How are you going to get back in there? You're not. Oh, you're in prison, my bike. boy. Oh, why? Okay, you you get some leniency here. Yeah, he's able to come in with the dash attack, double dash attack as well. Looking through the back here, but that move has non-existent end lag. As anybody who's ever fought Donkey Kong will tell you, that thing does not have enough end lag, period. He comes back on with that up tilt. Oh. This juggling, this juggling, this juggling. Just like that! He just even the odds, and you can't punish a DK punch, man. You got surprised by this. Grab into back, right through again. Yo! He can just reverse the whole table in just one interaction. That's Donkey Kong advantage shade, and that is Hikaru's juggling. He is so effective, and it is so scary to actually land against him, especially for like you're only landing two. In this case, is going to be a downer. This is the tragedy Ooh. of the floaty. He's going to go there. No good mix up on the uh, the recovery here, but not enough to get out of that monkey's grasp. Still going on here. Already 40% on the last of, of Leon. That monkey is just having a field day. Absolutely, he's still alive somehow. He could be eating a down oh. tilt and goes through the high recovery mix up, and that is also so dangerous. If you miss that counter, it is you who gets <laughs> left trapped. It's you who gets put in the corner, and it is you who gets KO punched. Hekalu making it back from that first stock in an amazing fashion, and wow, he wasn't even on his last stock. He was still up two stocks. You hear that sound? That's the sound of my nervousness, my friend. Considering how it's going. I do not want to see Nassim losing to a goddamn monkey with a tie. You know what? Yeah, that's tough for France, dude. Could it be me? I love Hikaru's Donkey Kong. He's so good. <laughs> oh, man. Go against the game, too. I'm just trying to think about what happened for Leon there. There is one right. really good advantage state for Donkey Kong for anybody going up against Lucina. Yeah. Yep. She's floaty. She's floaty. She struggles to actually descend in time. A lot of her neutral air dodges aren't as meaningful because it gives Donkey Kong ample time to be able to reposition. Hey, let us, let us some time to talk. Would you? We can going, going already in. for the grab and already 42% going eight. <laughs> he wants that blade hit dash attack for the, the most unethical Donkey Kong confirmed because it kills you at 30%. And now with that platform, he actually he can actually go for a ding dong quite quickly there. Trying to go for a downer to reverse the whole situation, he's not going to make it. And here, Leon again finding a good start of that game, but we've seen already how it ended up before. So I'm not feeling confident yet. Oh, yeah. he tried to fade back, but he didn't alas, have any choice there. Yeah, not enough air acceleration to be able to mix it up enough. And now, okay, a couple of little down beasts. That is one of the safest moves on shield. That thing is huge. That thing is safe. It does so much. It is such an all-purpose tool. As Chunky Kong, I feel like the best uh, to implement it. Thank you.
and good effort to cover the recovery high there, but not going to be enough to take a stock yet. And Leon again in the driver's seat. But we've seen how one advantage it was enough for Ikaru before to get back in there and take the stock and the last stock and the game before. So look at his fundies. Look at his fundies. He's dashing in, dashing out at the ledge to be able to bait Leon into a bad ledge option. He drops down, double jump up, uh, new Shubi to be able to take that stock out, and he has another KO punch ready to go. He is dash attacking all over the place. That late hit dash attack is so safe. I love how he just moves from that spacey thing, as you said, that fund is moving actually to one of those tools from DK, which is a DK pen to catch the stock. But Leon didn't ma didn't get oh, like Chris Vaughn. the wait, the resets. He caught Leon's mash out of disadvantage. He's trying to space out an F tilt that neutral out so huge, especially on that big body. Yeah, and here the grab here is going to the whip grab is going to get punished. And again, Leon finding a good juggle, finding 676% already on the last lock of Ikaru. I think on a misunderstanding, the Japanese player can still do it, but Leon is running with the win there. Yeah, right now, ooh, looking for that back here, missed times it, doesn't actually find oh, oh. it as intended. That's one dash attack. He goes out there, he commits so deep. I love the weight. I love the stall. He was cognizant of the one thing that Leon could have done to kill him. Is he going for the DK punch again this time? No, getting grabbed there. Not going to be that much considering it's uh, Lucina who's grabbing you. But look at this percent, 120%. Maybe another kind of edge guard. No, this man to connect it! Ooh, he went right under the oh. counter hitbox. He's able to get that back here, and this is it. This is the scariest part about fighting any heavyweight. Does Leon have what it takes to be able to close? Hikaru is playing patiently from the ledge. He comes in with an up tilt, and oh, that's a huge punish, but that's not the kill. We're now going for the nest smash here. I think he was kind of panicking, but look again. Ikaru finding a hit here and there, not letting Leon out there, not giving him the win yet. 175%, sure you can die, but you're also at full rage, and a monkey at this much rage can actually just reset the table quite quickly. Oh my quickly. gosh, that was so scary, but Leon just floating enough to be able to get above the down B. That's one down tilt. This should be something, but he goes through the dash attack. He doesn't get the run off for it. Luckily, Dancing Blade we is able to hold it down. Yeah. He is able to hold it down. The one time it actually connects is the one time it kills. <laughs> I was scared for Leon here, because if he went for the full Dancing Blade and get caught afterwards, he was on ledge, again a full rage Donkey Kong, you could go get for, you could go for a cargo throw and kill that Lucina quite quickly. Now, 1-1, one, one. question is, is uh, Hikaru going to remain on that DK? Because he does a lot of work, but that panic state you're putting your opponent in is something that will fade during the whole set. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's going to be an excellent question. Um, I don't think we're seeing the switch out quite yet. I do believe he's still going to be sticking it out with the Donkey Kong. And I actually don't disagree because I think his advantage hit is still just as solid. I think his recovery mix up's are on point as well. He's exhibiting a certain level of like matchup knowledge against Lucina to be able to recover as efficiently and as effectively as he does. Classic up throw uh, from the cargo throw into the neutral lane. And he keeps trying to space out these down bees, but he has to be a little bit further back. Yeah, and again, now you can see Leon going to wait a bit more here because he knows he can just punish a few options from Donkey Kong. If he remains out of those safe shots from the monkey, he can just survive a bit more. Good mix-up yep. here on recovery, but it's not going to be enough. He's still going to get hit by one of those huge spawns from the monkey. And look at the person. Both of them are even, but there's a DK punch on the table already oh, for Oh, but Hikaru. he commits a little bit too much off stage. Will he get punished? No. Leon ends up jumping back on. He ends up jumping back to safety. Leon going to be looking for yet another ledge trap and the drop down double jump side B. That's going to be the up smash. That's going to be the stock. And that is now a heavyweight with the lead. But Leon just has to keep him in the corner. Hikaru oh. keeps fighting on. <gasps> oh my goodness, going for a good mix up. Oh not going God. to be enough. But again, this is the first time with Hikaru taking the first stock. And we've seen already how he was destructive before. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Oh, that's not going to be it. Neutral no. into the up smash. Nice, optimal. And the up air is just barely enough to take out that stock. Leon keeping the stocks even, but he has a lot of damage to make up, and Lucina's not necessarily known for so much damage. Ding dong! So, sure, this is a ding dong. This is what the perfect percent for him to get a stock. So, yeah, Hikaru decided to go for PS2, and that was a perfect selection, considering again, Leon is one of those floaty characters, so he can go for those confirms quite quickly. Now, Leon has a lot of work to do, and he's going to go for options that Hikaru has, and uh, the tools to punish, so... The downbees keep on getting good punish. He keeps on out-disjointing him. He comes back onto stage before Hikaru, Donkey Kong does have a pretty slow recovery. Good Whoa. respect on the down B. But again, that thing has so little landing lag. End lag, excuse me. He gets a spike into the up smash. Wow.
What is happening? Look at the percents again. 73% is the, again the perfect option for Hikaru to go for one of those confirmed with a throw. Trying to edge guard again, but the drifts from this monkey are too much for the Fire Emblem character. Here again, finding, finding another backup, but not going to kill yet. Going for again. Uh, okay, this one he waited. That was All perfect. That wasn't worth missing. All out of places to go. Finally, Leon was able to get that stock off. New Chile could be the beginning of something huge, Ooh. but he doesn't cover the tech roll in. The falling up it came out a little bit too soon, and Hikaru tries to swing. He tries to swing, oh, oh. but Lucina has solid out of shield options. And that up tilt is doing so much in his advantage for Hikaru, covering all the options. Aggressive option, that's that's you're dead. Bye bye. Ooh. What a swing. That is now going to be Hikaru up 2-1 to one against Leon with Donkey Kong. Of all characters with Donkey Kong. But this isn't about matchups. At the end of the day, heavyweights intrinsically rely on outplaying your opponent yes. and making them afraid. So this we can see this coming into play most in jungle states. And a lot of neutral states as well. The way and the reward that Hikaru gets off of his dash attacks. And the way that he's exploiting so many safe options to be able to bait Leon into punishing them. Leon is not able to really match that damage up. But Hikaru is getting so much more off of every single hit. To say it, and he's going for the kill options here and there, but he's just juggling with that monkey monkey from one side of stage to the other. Doesn't manage to find a kill quickly, and you have to bring up that monkey up to 160 percent before finding a kill. Here, a good juggle again, but this doesn't mean anything considering that monkey oh, can just go for two hits and he reset the whole situation. For he was no. not ready for that as an option, and now he's off stage. Oh, Look at the patience. Hikaru knew exactly how to play that situation, but luckily Leon just having enough distance to be able to magnet hands back onto the ledge. Yes, here going again for the down B, those up tilts, just going to cover space around him and force Leon to go for Arios he can punish later on. But again, is Leon managed to sneak in and cover option later on? That would be great for, for the French player. Okay, right now Leon needs to make it off the ledge, that's gonna be the up here. But I gotta say, there is something super important to note, and it is the way that Hikaru is implementing directional air dodges in. Yes. It does not matter if he gets hit. The point is for him to get his double jump back, and the fact that Leon has no way to take a stop when he does air dodge in directly like that. Right, because you'll get sent back off stage and the situation will reset. This job we've seen from Hikaru here is just going to give him more space and leniency going oh. for good out smash. <gasps> My goodness, Leon is having a very bad day here. Finding a good edge guard, sure, but look at the percent already, 83%. He's going for the DK punch, trying to cover compression what again. What a spot dodge though. Yeah, spot dodge did uh, manage to keep his calm here in that situation and reversing the whole situation. Oh. However, okay, what's going to be? Makes okay, it back onto the ledge. Yeah, beautiful stuff with the directional air dodge. Nice little whiff punish on side B as well. Leon has effectively evened it back up. He goes for the upbeat, he still makes it back on before Hikaru does, and it is still his turn to play. These spot dodges, Leon has started to really tighten up a lot of his CQC gameplay. Wow! Yo! Nice! He needed that! He needed that, and also perfect collapse by the French player here. However, is it going to be enough? Because he's not out of the woods yet. 120%, one back air will be enough for Hikaru to get that stock and even the up, but he has a DK punch on the table. Yeah, he gets another new chiller off. He tries to go for the pivot, cancel, F tilt. Nice little up B. He is scrambling so well in a lot of these situations. Look at Fudo's down tilts. Not able to stop him out quite yet. Hikaru makes it back onto the ledge. He's dashing, dashing, dashing. Look at the hitbox on that thing. Oh, get off! Shoot! DK Pension going to whiff, but again, you can't punish it. You're in the ledge. How are you going to get back on the right back? Ding dong! <gasps> not quite yet, but he's chasing Hikaru in Leon's head. Leon is aggressive before in the air. Wow, he is playing with aggression. He continues to go all the way out there. Is that it? Yes, I think it is it. He can't get back on the terrain. Yo! Hikaru find the kill with that upbeat finish in the French player. Why are you laughing? This guy is French. Actually, you're French. What are you doing? Wow. Hikaru DK, man. Hikaru Donkey Kong. Ah. <sighs> uh. I mean, I'm a Hikaru fan of, uh, since yesterday, so I can get the hype for this monkey. And he but not against so another well. Frenchman. Not against Nassim, one of them. Among all the players, the problem is now there's so many French players.